Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to No dq &A video. Hope you're all having a good weekend. Got a lot of questions here, and as a reminder, Formspring is shutting down at the end of the month, so you can still get your questions in at formspring.me slash Aaron Rift, and um, at the end of the month, I will have an announcement regarding where you can submit questions for No dq &A video, but in the meantime, keep sending them in, and uh, let's get right down to it. This first one today comes from a good friend of mine, Ryan in San Pedro. Hey fella, is it just me or is this WrestleMania one of the last least anticipated WrestleManias in a while? This buildup is lackluster and almost no heat going into it. I'm thinking twice about either, even bothering to watch it this year. What do you think? Please answer in video. I do think that the buildup has been disappointing. I think WWE is relying too much on the names for WrestleMania. They think that just because you have John Cena versus The Rock, everybody's going to instantly buy the pay-per-view now. That could be true. I think that WrestleMania has a ton of name value in itself. And um, with The Rock, John Cena, Brock Lesnar, Undertaker, CM Punk, all these big names in the New York market, you know, WWE is going to get a ton of mainstream publicity uh, since they're going to be in, in the New York area. Um, so I think WWE is relying on that a lot. But, you know, I, I talked about this in a previous video. I think they really need to step things up. It's definitely uh, been disappointing in terms of buildup. And I think these last two weeks are really critical. If they want to have a potential record-breaking WrestleMania, then they really need to have, have two strong Raws, uh, you know, the two final go-home editions of Raw heading into WrestleMania. I think that that's really important. And uh, this next one here is a similar question uh, from CM Punk Rock. Hey Aaron, at the moment, which WrestleMania main event this year are you looking forward to most and why? Personally, I think with Rock and Cena each missing Raws, the buildup has been seriously damaged. Your thoughts? Well, I just mentioned the, the, the situation with Rock and Cena. I talked about it in the previous video. Um, as far as which match I'm looking forward to the most... Definitely not Rock versus Cena. I, I, I've seen it already, and um, I don't know what else that they can do that'll make the match better than last year. I'm, I'm sure it will be a better match, but to what degree, I don't know. Um, I'm looking forward to CM Punk versus Undertaker. I just don't know what Undertaker is capable of at this stage of the game, um, so I'm a little bit concerned about that. I actually think um, Brock Lesnar versus Triple H, while I, I, I expect Triple H to win, I think that that match does have the potential to steal the show. I think that because of the no holds barred situation and the stipulation, um, those two guys are going to go all out. I think it's going to be very physical, and they're going to brawl over the place. We're going to have weapons, and um, I, I think it'll be a really good match. I think that that's the one match uh, going into WrestleMania that I think has the most potential. But um, like I said, I, I think I'm looking forward to CM Punk versus Undertaker just because of. Um, the build up and I'm intrigued by that match a lot. So it's really a toss up between those two. All right, this one comes from Epic Kid 23. Hey Aaron, big fan. Do you think Michael Cole will ever go into the Hall of Fame? He has a good commentating career in the Attitude Era. Your thoughts? Uh, definitely, I could see Michael Cole going into the Hall of Fame eventually down the line. You know, not anytime soon, but maybe in ten years. Um, People complain about Michael Cole and rag on him, but the fact is, he's been uh, he's been a very good employee for WWE over the years. He he's been around now for 13, 14 years, and um, he's commentated literally hundreds of episodes of Raw and hundreds of episodes of SmackDown, and uh, he's done he's done a lot, and um, I think he. Uh, he, he, he's definitely uh, the, the voice of the modern WWE, I think. And, you know, some people might not like that. They, they you know, Michael Cole is never going to be JR, and it's not fair to compare him to JR. Michael Cole is his own announcer. He, he, he really has come into his own, and um, he stepped up to the plate and in, in uh, situations that, that required him to be professional, you know, he, he, he did his job, you know, when Jerry Lawler had the heart attack, Michael Cole was there, and, um, I mean, that really proved to me that Michael Cole, um, you know, is, is really, uh, talented, and, um, when, when he, the way he handled himself, I was really impressed with that, and, you know, since that point, you know, I, I, I think I turned the corner on Michael Cole, you know, I, I had mixed feelings about him, like a lot of people, but, you know, I, I, I think he's a real pro, and, um, he absolutely deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. 
All right, this one comes from Jamie Lee Mack. Hey, Aaron, do you consider the Bret Hart Roddy Piper match from WrestleMania 8 to be one of the most underrated matches in WrestleMania history? I think it's one of Piper's best matches. I, I agree with you. I think that that was a really good WrestleMania match, and it might not get as much credit as it deserves. Um, I, I remember really liking the buildup for that match, you know, babyface versus babyface, but, you know, it got really intense between them. They had, like, um, the, this face-to-face uh, -face promo with Mean Gene a couple weeks before WrestleMania. I thought it was really good. And uh, the match itself, I mean, it, it was it was really uh, important for Bret Hart. You know, Bret Hart was rising up towards the top of the card, and, um, you know, Roddy Piper put over Bret Hart and made him look really good. This 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 was a very important match for Bret Hart's career. And um, I love the finish, you know, Roddy Piper gets the ring bell and he's he's considering using it, but in the end he decides not to go that route and Bret Hart takes advantage of the situation and beats him. So I really liked that finish a lot. And um, yeah, re really good WrestleMania match. Alright, this one comes from Nick Gags. What are the chances we get a WrestleMania 30 match made on Raw after WrestleMania 29? I don't think that they'll officially announce a match. I think that, you know, it's it's been done already, but I, I definitely see them at least teasing something. There, there's a rumors going around that on the Raw after WrestleMania, they're going to have some sort of um, tease with Brock Lesnar and The Rock. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. But yeah, I, I think there's a very good chance that we'll at least see some sort of tease for next year's WrestleMania. All right, this one comes from Young EZ. Hey Aaron, I was wondering when WWE was what when WWE was finally going to do something with Big E Langston. What would you book as the best ending to his match at WrestleMania for the tag team titles? Well, to be honest with you, I don't think that Dolph Ziggler and Big E should win the tag team titles. I do think that Team Hell No has run its course. I think it's time to break those two up. But I don't think Ziggler and Langston are the team to beat them. You know, if it was me booking WrestleMania, I would, um, you know, put Alberto Del Rio versus um, Jack Swagger in the opening match, have Del Rio beat him, and then have Dolph Ziggler come out and cash it in on Del Rio and win the title. Then later on in the night, you have the tag team match, Dolph Ziggler coming out as champion, world champion. And then um, as a way to get revenge, you have Del Rio come out, interfere in the match, and cost Ziggler and Langston the tag team titles. Seems like... A logical storyline right there to build up to Del Rio versus Ziggler. And that way you can keep the titles on Team Hell No. And, um, you know, have them lose it to uh, a team that has more momentum. I I, I, I still think that um, if any team is going to end the reign of Team Hell No, it should be Rhodes Scholars. It should have happened at the Rumble. It didn't. And I, I still think that that's the team you should go with. Uh, Cody Rhodes and um, Damian Sando put the tag team titles on them. All right, the last one today comes from Chris Prez and Owls. Hey, I was watching your No DQ&A video number 279 and noticed you're going to SummerSlam. I am also. Are you going to have a No DQ after party? If so, where? Absolutely. Uh, we're having the fifth annual No DQ get together after SummerSlam. Um, it's going to be at the, the Hooters across the street from Staples Center. Uh, if you want to RSVP, we have an event page on Facebook. Uh, just search No DQ SummerSlam Party or um, add me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Aaron Rift, and um, I'll send you the link to the event page. And this goes out to anybody else if you're going to be in the L.A. area. Even if you're not going to SummerSlam, you want to come meet up with everybody. Um, it's going to be at Hooters, 8.30 or 8.15, whatever. But, um, you know, right after the show, we're all going to meet up at Hooters. And it's always a lot of fun meeting up with everybody and a uh, very good time. So if you're in the area, come, come, come stop by. At least... You know, just come by and say hi or whatever. But um, definitely uh, love to see you there at SummerSlam. So uh, just let me know if you're going to show up. Uh, try to RSVP for the page if you can. All right, that'll wrap things up for this edition of No DQ&A Video. As I mentioned before, formspring.com is uh, shutting down. So um, for the time being, you can, you can keep submitting questions, formspring.me slash Aaron Rift. And um, at the end of the month, I'll have an announcement regarding... Um, where you can submit questions to no dq &A video and uh, just keep spreading the word. I really do appreciate all the support from you guys. Tell a friend on Facebook or Twitter, you know, post post a link to this video. Um, if you know somebody who watches wrestling, just um, send send a link to this video, show them the video, let let them check it out. And um, 
I'll see you next time for more NoDQ&A video right here on NoDQ.com and YouTube.com slash NoDQCW.